Today we're going to be doing maintenance on the LogoJet UVX60 printer. It is virtually the same maintenance procedure for the UVX90 as well, so you can use this video for both. To start with, we're going to have, need our safety equipment. We have gloves and goggles prepared. We have alcohol, UV cleaning solution, an inspection mirror, swabs, lint-free cloth, and also the weekly maintenance checklist. Right, so we're going to start by putting on our PPE, our gloves first. and then our goggles. Okay. We're gonna gather our equipment and we'll proceed to the printer. All right, first thing we're gonna need to do is open up the uh, cover for the printer so we have access to the carriage. We're gonna need to move our bed to the down position. You can see mine is already relatively far down so I don't need to move it down any further. We're gonna move the carriage to the left using the button on the control panel. Now we have access to our print head and carriage. Okay, we're going to start cleaning the carriage by applying some alcohol to our lint-free cloth. Okay, and then we're going to wipe down all of the protrusions that we have underneath the uh, carriage. So we're going to wipe this here, we're going to wipe this one here, and we're going to clean basically everything underneath that has ink on it, we're going to clean it off. Uh, then we're going to focus on the front, back, and sides of the print head itself, making sure you get everything off. You do not want to leave any lint behind. So make sure that you get everything off of there completely. Uh, once we have that clean, we're going to go to a new place on the towel, and then we're going to add more alcohol. And then from there, we can wipe down the bottom of the print head nice and gentle. Do not apply pressure. We're letting the alcohol in the towel do the work here. Okay, now it looks good. Then the very last thing we're going to do for the carriage is we're going to inspect the UV lamp with our inspection mirror to make sure that everything is clean and clear and looks good. And then we are complete. The next thing we're going to look at is going to be our capping station area. Here we're going to clean the wiper blade first and you can move it up just by pushing down on this little rod or you can just grab it and pull it where you need it. So to clean this we're going to put some alcohol on the swab and then we're going to clean the back side and the front side of the wiper blade making sure to get all ink off of it. Then we can rotate it back down into the proper position. We're going to apply more alcohol to our swab and then we're going to clean the cap top. We're just wiping down this black seal here. We're inspecting it for any cuts, tears, or areas that show sign of wear. All right, but that one looks good. The last thing you're gonna focus on here is this sponge. If it has ink on it, you can uh, soak it in alcohol, wring it out, and then put it right back into position. And once we're done with that, we can move our carriage back over to the right side with the right button, and that's good. We're gonna inspect our waste bucket here to see if it has any standing ink in it. If it does, the best way to clean this is to unmount it, turn it upside down in a funnel over a collection container and just let it drain overnight. Okay, and you wanna always make sure you put that back in place before you turn the printer back on. The last thing that we're gonna look at is going to be our waste bottle. Um, you can remove this from the printer and then and check it out. If it has standing ink in it, you wanna make sure that you dump this into a larger collection container. Uh, and do not dispose of this uh, in a bad way. You want to make sure that you contact your local city hall and you're disposing of this in accordance with paints, solvents, and waste inks. Okay. Once it's empty, make sure you put it back, putting the tube back into the bottle so that you don't end up with a mess. And then you are done with the weekly maintenance procedure. If you run into any problems doing this, reach out to LogoJet Support. We're always there to help.